in our world, one of the most valuable assets possessed by ordinary individuals is the ability to communicate through speech. However, when we talk about communication, it goes beyond mere grammar, diction, and tone. It delves into the essence of what we say. Robert Louis Stevenson once said that talk is our chief business in this world. It costs nothing in terms of money, rather, it yields profits. Communication enriches our education, strengthens our friendships, and can be enjoyed at any age and in any state of health. This holds true, but there is another saying, the thing most frequently opened by mistake is the human mouth. Perhaps, many of us, with the exception of professional critics, would be better off if we followed this advice. If we cannot say something complimentary or favorable, it is best to remain calm and say nothing at all. It is easier to criticize than to be right or to offer help, so many of us engage in unnecessary criticism. By ceasing such behavior, we can immediately improve our personalities. Another method for enhancing our personalities lies in diverting the conversation away from our own interests. Instead, we should focus on the other person, their thoughts, and experiences. By becoming attentive listeners, even if we have heard similar stories before, we can establish stronger connections. Maintaining eye contact and actively listening will earn us credit for being good speakers. Remember, a good listener ultimately becomes a better communicator. Don't hesitate to talk, for as Rasmus put it, by speaking, man learns to speak. Strive to strike a balance, allowing others a chance to express themselves. The worst thing we can do is appear bored when someone is speaking to us. It is crucial to remember that we are never truly bored with others or anything else for that matter, boredom stems from within ourselves. In addition, it is essential to recognize that being brutally truthful isn't always necessary. Instead, prioritize kindness over painfully honest remarks. As William Blake phrased it, a truth that's told with bad intent beats all the lies you can invent. Even if a piece of gossip is true, spreading it with malicious intent will not enhance your personality. Exercise judgment and discretion when deciding what to say. As Mark Twain noted, good breeding lies in concealing how much we think of ourselves and how little we think of others. In conclusion, our words possess immense power to shape our personalities. By being mindful of what we say, diverting conversations to others, becoming active listeners, and prioritizing kindness, we can enhance our communication skills and ultimately improve our overall personalities.